Problem number 19 from chapter 18. Consider the slab as shown in the figure. Suppose that the length L, which is equal to 15 centimeter, and the area A is equal to 105 centimeter square, and the material is copper. If the hot reservoir temperature T of H, which is equal to 125 degrees Celsius, and the cold reservoir temperature T of C, which is equal to 10 degrees Celsius, and the steady state is reached, find the conduction rate through the slab. So here you have to see the figure. So in this figure, the left hand side is a hot reservoir and that temperature is 125 degrees Celsius and the right hand side, this green color is a cold reservoir. Its temperature is 10 degrees Celsius. So in between this hot reservoir and the cold reservoir, we kept the material, which is a copper slab. And this copper slab length is given as 15 centimeter. Better we can write the given first. So the length of the slab, which is made up of a copper material, is 15 centimeter. So we have to convert this centimeter to meter. So therefore, L, which is equal to 15, multiply 10 power minus 2 meter. And the area of the slab is given as 105 centimeter square. And we have to convert this centimeter square to meter square. So therefore, this value will change as 105 multiply 10 power minus 4 meter square. And the hot reservoir temperature TH is given as 125 degrees Celsius. And the cold reservoir value temperature is given as 10 degrees Celsius. We can easily find the change in temperature. So what is the value for the change in temperature? The temperature of the hot reservoir minus temperature of the cold reservoir give the answer about the change in temperature. So now I'm going to find the change in temperature. So 125 degrees Celsius minus 10 degrees Celsius gives the answer of 115 Celsius degree or Kelvin. So here we no need to convert in terms of Kelvin because the change in temperature in terms of Celsius as well as the Kelvin give the same answer. Clear? So now we are going to find the conduction rate and the material is a copper. So we have to take the thermal conductivity of the copper material by using this chart. So what is the thermal conductivity of the copper material? 401 and its unit is watt per meter Kelvin. So better I can write the value of the thermal conductivity of the copper here as 401 watt per meter Kelvin. Now we are going to find the conduction rate. So what is the meaning for conduction rate? The amount of energy transferred per unit time. So in the theory, we studied the formula for the conduction rate as the energy, the amount of energy over time, which is equal to the thermal conductivity of the material multiplied by the area of the material multiplied by the change in temperature over the length of the material. So here the conduction rate directly proportional to the area of the material and it has the inverse relation with the length of the material if area increase the conduction rate will increase if the length increase the conduction rate will decrease so it has the inverse relation with the length of the material so now i'm going to substitute the values in this formula the thermal conductivity of the copper is 401 and the area of the copper slab is 105 multiplied 10 power minus 4 and the change in temperature is 115 divided with the length of the material as 15 multiply 10 power minus 2. So here I got the answer for the conduction rate as P which is equal to 3.2 multiply 10 power 3 joules per second. So we have to write the unit in terms of SI unit the power conduction rate P, which is equal to 3.2 multiply 10 power 3 watt. So this is the answer for this question. That's it. Thank you.